Gestures are one of the first things to come in mind that can cause a major cultural misstep. People from every culture have been guilty of unintentionally offending people from other cultures through the use of inappropriate gestures. Body language conveys roughly 90% of what we communicate to the people around us. It is vital, especially for good relations, that we are aware of how and what we communicate to people from different cultures. Human actions, gestures and speech patterns a person encounters in any setting are subject to a wide range of interpretations, including ones that can make misunderstandings likely and communication impossible. It is possible to interpret someone's unfamiliar and ambiguous gestures by mirroring the gesture in just the way that person compatriots or colleagues would. In a world where crossing boundaries is routine, being able to recognise gestures belonging to different cultural becomes a vitally important aptitude and skill. Do you have an open attitude towards gestures that you can't read through the lens of your own culture? The aim of this unit is to provide an overview of the gestures typical of different cultures in the most common social relationships. The goal is to increase awareness of the norms envisaged by different cultures, for example in greeting each other or in conversation by acquiring greater knowledge and better interpretation of non-verbal communication. In many Western countries, a handshake is considered a warm, respectful greeting when meeting strangers or kicking off business meetings, but in other places in the world, not so much. Taking the time to learn how locals meet and greet is the first step to making a meaningful connection no matter where you are. From bumping noses in Qatar to bowing in Laos, here are 10 ways people greet each other in different countries and cultures. Some of these gestures can be made without touching, which is especially helpful if you're currently opting for no-contact salutes to prevent the spread of coronavirus. 1. Stick out your tongue in Tibet. 2. Bump noses, Qatar, Yemen, Oman and UAE. 3. Air kiss on the cheek, France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Latin America, Ukraine and Quebec in Canada. 4. Rope noses and sometimes foreheads in New Zealand. 5. Shake hands, Botswana, China, Germany, Zambia, Rwanda and the Middle East. 6. Clap your hands. Zimbabwe and Mozambique. 7. Bow. Cambodia, India, Nepal, Laos, Thailand and Japan. 8. Sniff faces. Greenland and Tuvalu and Oceania. And 9. Revere your elders. Asia and Africa. Gestures that mean one thing in your part of the world can mean the exact opposite somewhere else, and as a result it's quite possible to offend someone without even opening your mouth, and out of no will on your part. Did you know that in some cultures making the thumbs up gesture that Facebook is so famous for can get you unfriended fast? There are so many examples of symbolic gestures. I am sure all of you can share a symbolic gesture she or he will know with his or her peers. Experiment in your class. For more resources, check out our online platform at actedout-mooc.eu.